Quilters. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica Botker, AccuQuilts Creativity Expert. Welcome to today's trunk show called Seam to Shining Seam. In honor of the 4th of July coming up, we are celebrating with patriotic quilters and projects. That's right, we are. Today we're going to be joined by AccuQuilt go-getter Jen Belknap and Andrew Lee to hear about some of their recent USA themed inspiration and quilting. They're so great. It's gonna be yes. such a great section. I can hardly wait to see their stories. All right, Erica, should we get this trunk show started? I think we should. As always, we've planned a lot of fun for you today. We've got great prizes, wait till you see. We've got exciting project ideas, a thrilling trunk show and special offers. All right, let's begin with this month's special offers. To get your order in during the show, open up a new tab, Type in AccuQuilt.com slash party to go to the site and place your order. That way you won't miss a minute of our show. Now, first up, we have the promo code SAVE25, which is going to take 25% off of cutters, dies, cubes, and bundles. Now, be sure to take advantage of this offer today to beat those July 1st price increases. Yes. Right? Yes, Don't Friday. miss it out. Friday, that's the 1st of July. Some exclusion supply like for some of our newer items right. for this offer. So be sure to check the website for all the details. Yes. And plus quilters, we're gonna give you free shipping if you live in the contiguous US when your order reaches $100 or more. No code is needed to redeem this offer. That's right. You can also find many of our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find your closest retailer, go to the top right side of the website for the store locator. Well, now pay later. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, quilters, we are so excited for our first guest. So Go-getter Jen Belknap is here to join us. Okay, we certainly are so excited. Now, Jen lives with her husband and six children. Yes. And with such a large family and a husband who works a lot of hours, she found quilting to be a creative outlet and says sewing is her sanity. You go, Jen. Yes, absolutely. Jen is a contributor and blogger for Riley Blake Designs. When she's not sewing, she can be found planning her family trips or next adventures. Now her family motto is make beautiful memories and they try to do just that. I'm so excited. All right, welcome to the show, Jen. Hi. I'm so glad to have you back. Thank you for having me. Okay, we are so excited to hear what you have to talk about today. I'm really excited. Okay, so you are, okay, first of all, you are brilliant yes. to think about this. Yes. Tell us about the Stars and Stripes quilt you created and what inspired you to make it. Sure. So I love Camille Ross Kelly's Stars and Stripes quilt. I brought it with me today. There it is. I love it. I, I just, I love flag quilts. Um, my family is pretty patriotic. And so when I saw this quilt, I, you know, you see that pattern, you're like, I have to make this. Yeah. Yes. So I made this quilt and then decided we wanted to showcase it in a really fun and unique way. Okay. <laughs> so Erica's going to talk right. about that. So you and your family are always traveling and making memories. And part of yeah. that journey now is taking that quilt with you all over the country. Can you tell us about where you and your family have visited? And we want to see some of the pictures of you yes, all in the quilt. we have a whole bunch of pictures of that quilt in different places all over the U.S. Yes. So we, we are crazy. We oh, look have at how cute that is. <laughs> we have six kids and we used to live outside of New York City. And okay. so this was kind of our starting place is sure. here in New York City. So I had to take it to the Statue of Liberty. Right. Had to get a skyline view of, of the city. You're and almost as tall as the Statue of Liberty, Jen. Look at that, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then I, I am think we quite have tall. Maybe not quite that tall. Yeah. We have some more. Oh, this one is so cute. I love this with the kids. <laughs> so we decided to take an epic road trip starting in New York City, and we went clear across the United States. Oh, blessings we, on your head. <laughs> With with all six of these little kids with me. Oh <laughs> Look at that. And so here you are so in Mount fun. Rushmore. Yes. So we took it to Mount Rushmore. We tried to find iconic places and really the kids got involved and they're like, we would take it at state lines. Um, oh, that's a great idea. Yes. It was really fun. Oh. So we took it also to Yellowstone National Park and we'd take it through the park and take a bunch of fun pictures. So... Literally, this quilt has okay, been. Okay, this is my all favorite, Jen. 
Arches <laughs> in southern Utah. Moab is one of my all-time favorite places on earth. Yes. And look at you in Moab. Thank I told you. you. So this is Arches National Park. Yes. And I packed up this quilt in my backpack and hiked all the way to the arch with my kids. <laughs> I have never been more proud, Jen. <laughs> And I even met some fellow quilters on the trail who were like, I've seen that pattern. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, and I'm impressed because I feel so like fun. when you're in arches, that dirt is that orange dirt. And there it is right there in the dirt of Moab. So yeah. look how yeah. pretty. All right. <laughs> oh, and this so, one in front of the Lincoln Memorial. Yes, it is. So now anytime we travel, we do love to travel as a family and really love to go to these really special places. And so we've taken our kids to DC numerous times. And of course we had to take the quilt with us and get that really patriotic shot in front of the Lincoln Memorial. So, so great. It was a lot of fun. That is so great. That is wonderful. I hope on like your Christmas cards, you put all of your travel. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you taking your quilt? Okay, now, First of all, this was so inspiring. And yes. I, I want you to know, on tomorrow's show, I was so inspired by what you did. Um, we have a granddaughter, Oakley, and we're going to do some traveling this summer. And I thought, oh, I need to make a little quilt for us to take with Oakley. So on tomorrow's show, it's not patriotic, but I'm going to show it on tomorrow's show because I was so inspired by your whole experience. And I have plans to do the same. I know. I just think it's great. I know. Look at us. I know. <laughs> okay. Now, do you have any upcoming trips or new places that you're going to be visiting? Because do you pack that like in a little suitcase everywhere you go? Yep. I have a little bag that it goes in everywhere. So um, we, my kids have decided that they want to hit all 50 states. And so we were missing a lot of the Midwest, but now that my family has moved from New York to Texas, we are able to hit more of the Midwest. Oh, the there you are in Texas. Oh. Here we are in Texas. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's yep. wonderful. Yeah, you'll I be able to it. hit. Once you leave Texas and Oklahoma, <laughs> you'll hit <laughs> a whole bunch of states. <laughs> come our way. You can come to Nebraska and see us. Awesome. Yeah. It's on our list. Go oh. next door to Iowa. Yes. We'll yeah. tell you all the best quilt shops. Oh, that's well, it, so fun. It's been an amazing experience for me and my family that anywhere you go, there is beauty across this entire country. And we've been able to experience it. And it's it's been, no matter where you live, it's beautiful. Right. And we've got a small taste of that as we've been able to travel. Oh, that's family. great. It's a great story. Now, where can our quilters find you to hear more about <laughs> all of your travels and see the pictures from the new trips? Yes. <laughs> Yes, so you can follow me on Instagram at The Smitten Chicken. Um, also, my blog is thesmittenchicken.com. I do have a special hashtag, the uh, Stars and Stripes Quilt Travels, and that will showcase so like any, when any our, of the oh, okay. viewers are traveling, they can use that hashtag, or, do you, or is it just yours? It's just one you use. That's um, hers. No, there are other quilters who have used it as well. Okay, so. tell us again one more time because I interrupted you. Stars and Stripes Quilt, which is the hashtag for right. this quilt, but yeah. it's Stars and Stripes Quilt Travels. <laughs> I love it. Perfect. I love it. I love All right. it. Well, Jen, thank you so much for joining us today oh, and sharing you your stories. Me. You bet. And have a wonderful and safe Fourth of July. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Now, the pattern that Jen used to make that wonderful flag quilt. Yes is Stars and Stripes by Camille Ross Kelly of Thimble Blossoms. And it happens to be one of my absolute favorite yes. patterns. And I actually used it to make a smaller version that I use as a wall hanging. So what I brought is? mine in and it hadn't occurred to me to travel with it until it we totally talked to travel. Jen. I have like dog fur and threads it's and okay. stuff. And I, th okay, so this is a great alternative right to make mm -hmm. it a big quilt mm -hmm. you can make the small one here right and then you used my all-time favorite binding of all i did i did a flange binding on that and flange binding uses that one and a half and one and three quarter cuts on our strip dies yes and i bet they're part of that 25% i bet off. they're that save 25 get yeah. them before the prices go up this yeah. that's is a great time for that this is darling i like this one and mine is completely different um, yeah you're using tomorrow. I'm not gonna. Say, I'm not gonna give it away and say what it is, but you need to tune in because it's gonna be really cool. It's really fun. Oakley helped me pick the fabric, and Erica gave me some inspiration for fabric. It's great. <sighs> yep.
You can find this pattern from your local retailer or on thimbleblossoms.com. When it comes to making any project, but especially flag quilts, Eric and I would be totally lost without our totally. supplies. So we thought we would take a look at some different ways to use our 18 different sizes of strips. That's right. Now, the most obvious way to use strips may be to cut your binding. You know, we talked about the flange binding, and I happen to think that any time you can take a two and a half inch strip die and cut a queen size binding in one pass through the cutter is nothing short of magical. But there are some different things that you can do with your strip dies, right. right? Like cutting squares. And I think some of our quilters don't know that, right? Right. Okay, so here is our three and a half inch strip die, which actually is a, a size strip that I use a lot. It finishes to three mm -hmm. inches, mm -hmm. okay? And it's a um, great border die too. It is. And this has two sections of three and a half inches, mm -hmm. right? And the blades end here and here. This is the exception to the lengthwise grain rule, right? right? There are no crosswise blades. These are just guidelines that are screen printed on. There are no blades underneath there. Right. So because there are no crosswise blades, your die doesn't care how you lay your fabric. It doesn't. It, it's non, it doesn't care it at all. It doesn't care at all. all right. It doesn't care a bit. So here I have some um, little um, just scraps of fabric. So here is um, the salvage, right? Which normally we right. would have going parallel to the blades, but there's not. And so when we would cut this, shall we cut it? We should. We what should. We here, we can cut it. We're talking. We We're are. Talking. We can multitask. We can. We've got more tricks up our sleeves, but we'll yeah. start with some strips. So remember, you can always cut six layers of cotton, but you can cut other things, flannel, felt, denim, wool, with your strips. And I like our strip dies because they're great for borders, they're great for binding. Mm -hmm. One and a half and one and three quarters. Yeah, land binding. Land binding. We can talk about some of the, the other things, but it is great, and yes, the answer is yes, you can cut a bias binding on a strip die. We've got some videos out there you can watch on that. Yeah, Eric and I, we did a little thing about them, okay? All right, so now we've cut our three and a half inch strips, okay? And now if you wanted to make squares, you would just turn it here at yep. 90 degrees, right? And go back and forth, okay? Remember so, the six layer law. Yep, and so let's cut some squares and then we're gonna show them the rest of our mat. Okay, then we right. will. And I'm gonna use a smaller mat because I'm just cutting a few of those. And we can. We can. Now keep in mind, most of our strip dies are 10 inches wide and will work in either a go or a go big. However, if you have just a go me, we do have two strip dies that will work in that go me for you as well. Yep. It's only in a cut where there's fabric in a mat. That's right, you can always go smaller. You can always go smaller with your mat. If you're just cutting a smaller section, just don't go bigger. Okay, look at these perfect squares. Aren't those fabulous? Well, How fast was that? We talk about this all the time that not only is it fast, but it's accurate yes. every single time. Every okay? single time. Now, let's talk about the other strip by magic that we have so going now on she's, here. Now we got started, now we're gonna have to sew something else. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, so quilters ask us all the time like, in your quilting head, you're gonna think, oh, uh, now I wanna make a four patch. So I'm gonna cut a whole bunch of red and a whole bunch of stars. Mm -hmm. No, There's no. a better way. There is. So cut your strips. That's right. Them together, don't open them up. Yes. And we can go back and forth. And again, you're gonna remember that no more than six layers. Yep. And that's why we're not gonna and open them up. the reason we didn't open it up is because then we would have to count it as three layers. Right, then we wouldn't be able to cut seam. as much. Mm -hmm. Seams. So what we did was we took a print and a red and we sewed them together. Now we've laid them crosswise because there's no law that says you can't cut things more than once. Yeah, and then look at this magic. So now it makes perfect four patches. So in your quilting head, don't cut a whole bunch of squares if you're gonna make right. four patches. Cut strips. Cut strips, sew them together, turn them at 90 degrees. Press towards your dark side. We're gonna decide that the red is the dark. Yeah. And that means that when you sew them together, those seams are gonna nest up perfectly. Every single time. Every single time, you're gonna have perfect points in the center. I guarantee you, the first time I did this, I was just giggling, I was so happy. Oh yeah. 
They yeah, were yeah. so perfect. Such fun. Okay, so now all of you are thinking, great, I can cut squares and four patches, but what about nine patches? Aha, uh -huh. you can do the same thing. We can, so look at this. So now I've created a light and a dark and a light, mm -hmm. and I pressed my seams open. Yes. Because you're also gonna create the opposite version, right? With the blue and the, and star the stars and the blue. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna press it open because then it only is two layers. Mm -hmm. If I press to the dark side, then there would be three, and, and you don't get as much bang for cut, your buck. Cut down your cut and possibilities. Can I say bang for your buck on the 4th of July weekend? I bet I can. I think so. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna do this because I wanna show our viewers, you know, sometimes there's a tail left over and everybody yes. stresses about that. Don't stress. Don't stress. Just kind of fold that up. Yep. I'm gonna use my big mat. Yep, there you go. Okay, this is strip dye magic. And Eric and I, I think we have many, many videos. We on do. How we to do. Cut strips and, and you know our shows live in infamy. They they live on and on. <laughs> you can find them on our website. You can find them on YouTube, and you can go back and watch a show over again. You can watch your videos there. So if you're ever infamy, that's really a big word. <laughs> the word of the day <laughs> is morning. infamy. Tuesday morning. Okay, so we're gonna give it some love. We're gonna slide, don't lift. Okay. So now, see, look, we've cut those. So then we would have the opposite one in to the go center, in the center, and it would nest together perfectly. It would be fabulous. All right, all, all right. sorts of cool things. So think about if you're going to sew them together, can you cut them together? I know we have so much fourth of July. We do. Here. We do. I love it. I love okay. all of it. All right. All now, the red, white, and blue things. Let's talk borders. Yes. Um, because we have lots of different 18 sizes of strips. Right. And we can talk about my favorite, which I think actually may be one of your favorites, is the six inch strip. Yes. It's, okay, so it's six and a half inches finishes to mm -hmm. six inches. Okay. But one application of our strip dies that we don't talk about a lot is making a continuous cut for your border. Right, so this just has one section of right. six and a half inches. So here you're gonna run your continuous fabric up and down. So usually we f talk about fan folding across a die. Here we're gonna fan fold up and down the die board. So Same here's thing. Our savage edge. I left it on so we could see it. Yeah, so we just rough cut seven inches. We mm -hmm. meaning Erica. Mm hmm Yep. And then what rough. you're gonna do. That's rough. rough. There we go. Okay, and what you wanna make sure is that the fold comes past the blades on both sides. And no, it's inside the blades, Inside the blades, past. yeah, inside the blades. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. I didn't say What you meant, clear. not what you said. Yeah. Okay, so then let's cut some of this because we can, we have a mat. So if you were to do up to six layers back and forth, keep going, up and down the die blade, you could cut about 138 inches worth of fabric. That is almost four yards, quilters. That is so much fabric. That is cutting. so much fabric. So you could cut continuous borders for your quilts if you don't want to piece them. Okay, so let's say you want to do that using the two and a half inch strip die. You would count all the sections. So two and a half, two and a half, and two and a half is seven and a half. Right. You would do the same thing with just an eight inch. Right. Right, and then you could just cut Continuous. Absolutely. So look at this. This is so cool. And I didn't do all six layers. Because what are we going to do with four yards of purple? I don't know, but we'll come up with we'll something. We'll come up with something. You look can at always that. find a way to use for here. Look how cool You took that one is. end. So that's that's most that's 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 a that's size. a good size. That's a good good length border. So okay. There we go. There we go. Strip dies. All right, so after the two and a half, I think that my next favorite is the one and a half. And that is because it finishes at one. And I really like that for sashing between my box or for a narrow border before I put on a wider border, just kind right. of like a little frame. So this actually has one, two, three, four, five sections. Yes. Of one and a half inches. 
And so you could cut sashing and then turn it right 90 degrees and cut. Oh, cut squares. Yeah. yeah, or cut little bitty four patches and make them really fast. So or 16 tiny. patches, who cares? There's so no die place. It's also gonna work really well for stripes for making flag blocks. Imagine. Imagine that. All right, and if you're like us and have some red and white scrap fabrics, apparently, um, <laughs> make sure yeah. you're, I was gonna ask that question, am I gonna sew them together? then we should cut, cut them, them together. together. Yep. Okay. Now, quilters, we know it wouldn't be one of our events without a giveaway. That's right. Our giveaways are just one way we'd like to say thank you to our viewers for being part of our AccuQuilt family. Today, we're going to give away the Ghost Star Die, which has a 2-inch, 3-inch, and 4-inch die. And to a lucky registered viewer, it's on a 5 by 10 cutting mat, so it's going it to fit is. through all of our cutters, including that Go Me. Absolutely. All right. The first winner of a Go Star 2, 3, and 4-inch die is, drum roll please, Susan N. from San Jose, California. Congratulations. Congratulations. Susan, you're going to love it. Not just for the 4th of July. Oh, you can no. Christmas or birthdays. All kinds of things. Some of us have birthdays by the 4th of July, but that's okay. <laughs> Not that she's mentioning Not it. Not that I mention it. Let's All right. see, what would that be? July hmm, Sat 2nd? Yeah, mm. Saturday. I know, I think we're having some stuff between now and then. All right, cool. There's last year we held the Patriotic Trunk Show called Hometown Heroes, uh, which was so inspiring. And we spoke to the power of the community, and it spoke to the power of community and quilting. That's right. And we invited one of the guests from last year, Andrew Lee, Army veteran and AccuQuilt go-getter, back again as a guest to catch up on life and quilting. And for those of you who may not have seen last year's show, first of all, go back and watch it because it was great. It was. Andrew served in the Army for 10 years and was deployed twice to Iraq. Like many other soldiers, Andrew sustained injuries and experienced the death of fellow soldiers, which resulted in him returning home with post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD. Now, one of the things that helped provide therapy and comfort for him was quilting. Compass. It was first introduced to him when his wife, Christy, insisted they take a table runner class at their local fabric store together. Go, Christy. I think is fabulous. Yes. Since then, Andrew has made quilts of valor for soldiers touched by war and has served his country the last 10 years in the Tennessee Army National Guard. He also has his own quilting business called Combat Quilter. Without further ado, welcome back to the show, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. You've even got a new, new quilt behind you, I think. I do. This was a gift, uh, a woman I stayed with in <laughs> Illinois she, I made the comment that I thought it was a really cool looking quilt and she had gifted it to me um, the next day on my way out. I really just wanted the pattern. I wasn't fully expecting it. <laughs> so, but she, she came on since, with the quilt, so it's uh, all good in the end, right? Yeah, right. she has since been labeled my, my favorite aunt. Oh, there you go. There Fabulous. You go. Well, welcome back to the show. It is so good to have you here. Now, since we spoke last, what's been new with you? Um, not a lot. Well, okay, maybe maybe I was wrong. Maybe there is a lot. Um, I'm up to 219 Quilts of Valor. And um, when my wife and I first met, she had made the comment that um, it's okay that my parents don't like you, but if my dog doesn't like you, then that's really an issue. And as it turns out, her dog became uh, mine after about the third time that we had met. Um, and of course, became my therapy dog over time. Yep. And um, in January, uh, on New Year's Day, we lost Dewey. Uh, he so was sorry. He'll, he would have been 18 in February. And um, since since Dewey was such a big part of my life and my therapy and healing and all of that, um, I struggled during the month of January. So then in February. Um, we went to Florida and rescued a dog similar to the same breed. Yes. Um, yeah, and so Winston, Winston is his name. Winston, and we love it. I love that name. Love it. And has that, one of the ways that helps you combat your PTSD is with the therapy dog? Yeah, because one of my triggers is anger and frustration. So dogs can sense that emotion coming up and can do things to distract you from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's wonderful. Oh, Now, do you ever make things for Winnie? 
Do you call him Winnie Oh, yeah, he's Winston? got his own quilt. It says uh, Sir Winston on it. Um, <laughs> come here, Winston. Look, he's going to be on this show. Oh, I love it. Come here. Come here. Winston. <gasps> oh, oh my sweetie. gosh. Look at him. Did you get your hair done just for the show? I feel like he did. Mm -hmm. He did. Oh, and a little snack, too. And is he always, like, with you when you're sewing and quilting? Yeah, we built him an ottoman, so that way he can sit right next to me. <laughs> I, I we love built it. him an ottoman. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's great. Well, you've certainly been busy since the last time that we talked because you've made a lot more quilts for since the last time that we talked. Yeah, for Quilts of Valor. Yeah. And how many yes, projects are you working on now for your Quilts of Valor? Um, I think I have six cut out right now. Okay. And is there a specific like dye that you use? There's, do you have a favorite dye that you use for those or do you just use different dyes? I, I'm a block on board fan. So I like the Arkansas Traveler and of course the Ohio Star. Oh, there you those go. Those are two great ones, yeah. That's great. Well, and you all were talking about bang for your buck, and those are the two that really give you the bang for the buck. <laughs> I feel like oh, bang good. for your buck is a good thing to say on the 4th of July, it is. right? It is. Uh, okay, well, thank you so much for you and Winston joining us today. Yes. And um, thank you again for all of the work that you do for our Quilts of Valor people, and thank yes. you for your service in the National Guard. Yes. Thank you. All right, we'll see you good soon. Good to Thanks. see you again. Bye-bye, Andrew. Bye. Quilters, you can follow along with Andrew's quilting journey and his Facebook and Instagram pages. He's known as the Combat Quilter. Yes. Be sure to check them out. And Winston, too. We need Winston. We need a dog on set. We could bring Riley every now and then. Yeah, yeah. He's a little, uh, <laughs> he's a he's little, little bit of a diva. I, I don't know. know. I don't know. Joe's like, I don't know. <laughs> he, 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 we'll he's, see. Okay. Now, Quilters, today's show is all about patriotism. So we want to know, have you made a patriotic quilt before? And if you have, what AccuQuilt dye did you use to make it? I think this is going to be a great question. I there do, too. There is no voting in the poll today, so let us know your answers in the comment section wherever you stream our show. And Madison is going to grab some of those. Yes, and we're gonna so we can them, share them. Um, at the end of our show and a little bit later. So, all right, Quilters Cubes are such a great way to make a simple and quilt uh, project for any holiday. Yes. Right? Not just 4th of July. Yes. So should we open up a cube and talk about it? I think we should. Right? All right. So let's talk about our four inch cube. It's part yes. of our sale today, right? I believe it is, um, Pam. 25% um, off. Don't forget, Save 25. Friday is the new price increase. Yes. So you want to get some uh, projects or dies today. All right, we're <laughs> going to open this up. What's inside, Erica? This is going to have our mat. You need a mat to cut. Yes. That makes magic. And a free pattern booklet. Nothing so that's really important. Nothing happens without a mat. Yeah. All right, so remember, we have seven sizes of cubes. The shapes are the same in every cube. They're just different sizes. Right. So this is the four inch cube. These eight dies um, our basic geometric shapes, they have that quarter inch seam allowance mm -hmm. built in. And I've lost our four patch, so I'm just going to show them the Oh, picture. it was over here. I know, Hold there's on. so much stuff over there here. There is Erica. so much stuff. Okay. So the cube system is one. based on a four patch system. Yes. So shape number one in every cube is a square. Four of these sewn together, in this case, makes an eight inch block. I was looking for it. I know. It's, yeah. Oh, it's right here. Look. Oh, look. It was already on the set. Look at this. I can wander back. You can help us, please, okay? So everything is based on that four patch system. So shape number two in every cube are smaller squares, right? That's right. Four of these sewn together are gonna equal? One of shape number one. Shape number one. This is our all time favorite um, die in all the world. <laughs> At least it's mine. <laughs> this is half square triangle. And these, this is so important to me because we've cut off the dog ears and we've cut off, and then we have that quarter inch seam allowance. Mm -hmm. So really, truly, you're going to be able to put together your projects so fast. You and I both made that exploding heart quilt, which needed squares yes. and half square triangles and quarter square triangles. Quarter square triangles. Which is our next shape. It and is. did we not, I cut mine out in like an hour and a half. Yes, very quickly. It was great. So shape number four in every cube are quarter square triangles. You'll notice that you want to make sure that lengthwise green is happening 
um, as it cuts the block so that your right. pieces are not wonky. Yes, quarter squares are going to have the grain differently than a half square. Right. And we have made many a video. Many a video we have. And again, they're all going to be, you're going to be able to find lots of them on our website, also on Facebook, and also on YouTube. Yes. All right, so um, shape number five in every cube are smaller half square triangles. Mm -hmm. Big squares, little squares, big half square triangles, small half square triangles. And this is actually our workhorse die yes. because it allows other blocks to become new blocks. For example, shape number six is not just a square, but it's a square on point. Makes and it is just a square, but the math is done so that shape number five on all four sides is going to turn it into a square that is equal to shape number one. Yep, so we're gonna add that shape number five on all sides. Shape number seven is a parallelogram. <laughs> What's important to remember about parallelograms? It's a directional shape. It so is. Re, if you're working with it, you want to read your pattern, see if you should be cutting with all of your fabric right side up, all of your fabric right side down, or fan folding for matching pairs. Make a test block, it's kind of Always. Our, I feel like we should Always. have shirts that say that. Make, Make a, test. a test block. And then shape number eight are rectangles. There are four on this die board. Yes. So again, quilters, all these basic geometric shapes mm -hmm. that you would use in all sorts of projects. That's correct. All right. All right, but that's not all. No. Hang on. Because each cube is gonna give you the ability to make more than 72 basic quilt blocks. But we also have what we call our companions and they give you even more options and quite frankly, even more stars that you can make with these piecing shapes. Right, so shall we open up corners real Yes, quick? open up corners. Pull the skinny one first so we don't break a nail. Yep. And now the original mix and match cube has eight dies, each companion set has four dies. Mm -hmm. They're gonna add 72 additional patterns. Right. So if you have the corners and angles and the mix and match cube, 216 free downloadable patterns. That's right. To get you started. That's right. Shape number, I don't know. Nine. Nine, there we go. It's a chisel. There we go. And when you put shape number five, that small half square triangle on the end, it's gonna make a rectangle unit that's the same as the rectangle in your mix and match cube. Chisels, also directional, depending on which way you want them to go. That's right. Okay, signature block is actually one of my great stash busters. Yes, it is. Because you're gonna add just shape number five on either side of this and it will make a square. But the four and five inch cubes are so great. Four especially because all those tiny little pieces. Yes. Right, you can just cut them up Love into it. usable Love chunks it. of fabric. Okay, here we go. And these two um, make bow tie. They are uh, half square triangles and finished squares. And we were doing kind of starry things and patriotic things, so I oh. made this little block. Here, I'll hold it up. With those, and that is just one unit. So think about making like two blue units and two red units to go together in your block. I think that would be really fun. That's super cute. Look and it's super it cute and it's really tiny, but if, hey, if you're not into tiny, heck, get the 12 inch and you can do the exact same thing because same shapes. Same shapes and all the cubes. Okay. okay. So next we've got way? our friend angles. And here again, we've got four different shapes. So we're gonna pull out the small one. Again, that's where we've got our mat and our pattern booklet. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the dies. Let's pull this one back. All right, so here's what we've got here. So we've got our triangle in a square center. Okay, that is what kind of triangle? An isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle. Don't try to make it an equilateral. You will oh, be disappointed. It will make you cranky. And then the next shape are the triangle in a square right. side. So here's an example of a nine patch that we made with the four pat with the four inch cube and it has that triangle and a square. It's a lot of times you'll he, have people call them spikes or peaks yes. or, or different kinds of squares, but isn't that fun? That is Great, really Great, simple square block. And then it's a, I know I found that in my stash. I was really excited. Um, I didn't have very much of it, but with your four inch cube, it doesn't matter because they're smaller shapes. You don't need a lot. But because I used a three by three grid, it actually makes a six inch block. Yes. Now here is our kite shape. It's one of my favorites. 
And again, you can make kind of a star type looking block with this when you put those triangle and the square, those sides, the half rectangle triangles on the sides, you get another kind of a star. Or you could turn those with the narrow part in and the wide part out. You can get so many different looks with You can with use them. it with the kite. We have a lot of patterns that have that. Yes. And then here's the shape we have never cut by hand because there is a die for it. <laughs> and that this is, is the trapezoid shape. That's right. right. And this one is going to work really well with our small half square triangle, that shape number five. And then on the opposite side, on the wide side, you can use shape number three, the large half square triangle, mm -hmm. or you could piece two quarter square triangles together if you wanted to get really tricky about it. So many options. But again, it's all going to relate back to the mix and match cube. So you, you want to start there, add your companions, 216 blocks, you can't beat it. Okay, and so don't forget that they're based on a four patch. So right. So now, shall we talk about Oh, this? let's do. So since we're making the stars. Yes. Okay, this is um, a three by three grid, so a nine patch. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And I use the four inch cube. Yep. So this finishes to a six inch block. Yes. And speaking this is, of Ohio speaking Star. Speaking of Ohio Star. And this is a 12 inch cube. Yes. So this now finishes to an 18 inch block. So six and How six and six. How fun is, is that? And I think it is brilliant. I do too. That I'm we really. Can take a star block and put it in the center so of another a star block. And that's great because it's matching, but you could do it with different shapes again. Yes. And sizes. So you could do the same thing with this block if you wanted you to. Could. And you use totally the four and the, use the four and mm -hmm. the twelve again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, let's see already. So that's why you don't stop at just having one cube, because they all play well together. Right. Now, quilters, don't forget to beat the July 1st price increase by using that code. It's SAVE25. The code's going to take 25% off of cutters, dies, cubes, and bundles. So today we've talked about the 4-inch cube and the 12-inch cube. We've talked about different sizes of strip dies. They're all part of that SAVE25. That's right. So if there's any sp thing specific you've been eyeing to make your projects this summer, like the 4- and the 12-inch cube, be sure to take advantage of the offer today. Today is also really a great day to um, fill in, like if you have the cube, you want the companion right. sets. Um, you want a variety of strip dies. It's right. gonna allow you to do that. Right. Um, exclusions do apply. Some of our newer product is excluded, so check the website for details. That's right. We also have some special bundles that are available until the end of the month, which is through Thursday, by the yes. way. And that includes June's Die to Try, the Go Deer Head Die Bundles. Now, these bundles are already marked down. They will not work with a code. And I have to tell you, if you want one, you need to order it right away because we are almost out. We probably do not have enough to get us through Thursday, so don't wait. It will probably sell out. And don't forget, you can place multiple. That's right. Plus, if you re you'll receive free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. when your order reaches $100 or more. No code is needed to redeem this offer. Now, quilters, be sure you follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, and on TikTok to see our behind-the-scenes video. That's where you see behind the scenes what we're doing and our antics. We always have tons of fun, and we love to share our AccuQuilt community's quilts and stories on our social media pages as well. So don't forget to follow us. Now, when it comes to making stars and stripe blocks, don't forget about applique. And that Go Stars die we're giving away today is perfect for adding stars to patriotic projects. So we've got a Here sample of the, okay. I had to get all the things. All the things. Here's the die. Now, this is an this applique is die. die. giving away. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it has the three different sizes of stars. And, okay, can I just tell you that I'm glad that it lines up there? Because otherwise it would bother you. It would make me crazy. And we have pre-fused our fabric. Right, so we are using today the, the peel and stick. This is a different kind of fusible. Um, you just cut it and peel it on and stick it on. It's sticky, yeah. So cool. you press it on. It's not sticky before you press it on. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut out our, our stars and then we'll okay. peel one off and show you. And we have irons and different kinds of fusible all available yes. on our website right now. Yep, so. we've got a couple kinds of fusible. This is the, the fuse and stick. 
And I like the soft views. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. Okay, so we're gonna run this through our go big cutter. Um, but it's on a five by 10 die board. It can come through any of any. our cutters. There you go. And our go big is wide enough. We could have run two of these dies in one That's pass. right. Today is a great day to upgrade to a cutter if you're looking to do that. All right, so here's our stars. Okay. You could never cut these by hand. Oh, they're ever. so perfect. And, ever, and, ever. And you would have little clip marks in them and they just would you not would be as be perfect and you would be frustrated. Would. And here is our big pro tip, right? We keep all of this that's Oh, yes, left. we do. Yeah, because we do. Because sometimes you need just this much to cut out, I don't know, Christmas bells or something, yep, <laughs> right? Yep, exactly. I mean, it's just crazy. And then you peel that off and it's going to be a little tacky so that you can stick it down on your project. I love it. Now, don't forget all of our applique dies come with a free embroidery download with three stitches, a blanket stitch, a satin stitch, and a motif stitch. That's right. But we have some fun and different embroideries to show, don't we? Yes, so for the stars, there are some different ones. These are from one by V-Stitch Designs. Okay, V-Stitch, this is my favorite. This is so cute. It's darling, it looks it's like It's a little... blanket stitch and it looks like little tiny rickrack. It's, like, it's, it's just fun. Of... And here, this one is stacked, the smallest one and the middle one. Super yep. fun. Yep. All right, and then let's do this because we'll do that one last. Yes. So some bonnet Sue overall, Sam, they are staples. For they most are, quarters. and they're ready for the 4th of July. And they're part of the Save 25. And these are from our good friends at V-Stitch, so it has a flag. And look, her buttons. Our stars. Our stars. And he has a flag in his pocket. Yes. I love this. And a, and a little sparkler. Yeah, so Thank fun. Thank you, V-Stitch. Thank you. Yep. All right, but we've got a brand new one, and it is just going up on the website today. Don't panic if you don't see it. It will be there by the end of day. And a huge shout out to Lauren. For rushing for him rushing on. rushing him on the website, because Erica found him the other day, and we're like, hey, we need this for our Tuesday show. This is our gnome. He's our gnome. Look at him, our gnome, all, all dressed up and ready for the 4th of July. Look at how fun he is. I think he's darling. Super cute. Yep. So... Lots of ways to finish your projects. You could use raj quilting. You could do um, embroidery you need stitches. Him, you need him on an apron for your cookout for the 4th of July. Oh, you do. Quick. You can get that done in no time. Quick, you could. All right. All right. Now, you have a fun way to do embroidery. I do. Well. So I was doing something differently. So I was working on some patriotic projects myself with my quilting buddy, Judy. And... Oh, Hello, Judy. And sometimes she gets a chance to wash. Sometimes she's, sometimes she's like and... super busy and doesn't yeah. get to. But she did a little table topper and she was getting ready to quilt it. And I said, hey, 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 will you let me do something for you? And we used the embroidery machine and just stitched out the placement line hey. for the free downloadable embroidery for the largest star. And then I stop the machine after that. It's going to stop after that normally right, so that you can you take it off of the machine and fuse your star onto the shape. Yep. But just stop it after that, re-hoop to a different area of your project, and then you can go ahead and start over again. And again, just do the placement stitch. Now, this would work with any of our dies that we have the free downloadable embroidery for. A few years ago, I was in New York City, and a woman had made a wall hanging using our Sea Life medley die, mm -hmm. and she put a wide border on the outside and embroidered crabs from the Sea Life medley all the way around. All the way around. So, so just cute. a fun, different treatment if you haven't thought about doing that. That's right. So, And also, you can fill, finish your star applique with a decorative stitch from your domestic machines. Do the Raj quilting, or even just do quilt that a lot. over the top. That's right. Now, we can't walk away from talking about patriotic quilts without talking about the Go Storm at Sea block on board, or Bob die, that's used to make one of my all-time favorite patriotic quilts. That's right. All right, so let's look at this die. So it comes on a 10 by 24 die board. It's gonna fit in your Go or your Go Big. All of the shapes are screen printed for easy piecing and placement. Yes. And we've cut off the dog ears. We've given you quarter inch seams. And it's also divided by color. Yes. Now here's my little tip of the day, quilters. Shape B, 
This, these are those um, half rectangles. Yes. You want to fan fold your fabric back and forth so That's, you get a left and a right. That is correct. Otherwise, you'll only get a left and it will make you cranky. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's show you a block. Now, one of the really cool things about oh, the look, storm it at sea. To the back. Oh, it does. Look at that. Hmm. Ah, Justin. <laughs> 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 it's taking away all the fun. All the fun. Okay, this is Storm at Sea. So this is set up. You can do the Storm at Sea block with our die two different ways. You can put it together so that you will have single sashing. And that means you're just going to make this with the one side and down below so that when you put it next to another one, you've got just the one section, the one diamond section in between. Right. Or you can make it a complete block like this, which will give you double sashing all the way around. And not too long ago, just a few weeks ago, um, we did a Wednesday live show on how to cut and sew um, a block and make a pattern using this die. And I love it because it gives you the illusion of a curve without having to sew a curve. Yep. We know that freaks some quilters out. I know, they think curves. Embrace your curves. But in the meantime, there is the storm at sea that's gonna look like a curve and isn't a curve. And you know what? If you can sew that quarter inch seam allowance, you can sew this bob. I do love this bob. I, you know, but it was on my bucket list and I didn't make one until we had a die. I know, we waited for the die. We did. Now, quilters, if you want more inspiration like what you're seeing on our show, there are at least three new blogs posted each and every week. They've got innovative ways to use the dies you already own and maybe just inspire you to get some extras. Tomorrow's post is by our good friend, uh, go-getter BLE from Be A Quilter. She is sharing how to make a patriotic project using our Go Gnome die. Discover everything we mention and more when you subscribe to the AccuQuilt blog. Gnomes for all seasons. Now, quilters, our good friends at Timeless Treasures are making this a truly great patriotic party. And they have given us this great patriotic fabric bundle. And huge There's big bundles. two I bundles. I feel like these are half yard cuts. I think so. I Look think so. This. They feel like, I love this plaid. And oh my would. gosh, and I love that pretty. plaid. And the flags, I love it. This has got like the, the signers of the declaration mm -hmm. and, and. I have this fabric. Yeah. <laughs> I have this fabric at home. Okay. <laughs> Imagine that. So, so many um, Mount Rushmore's here. We just saw yes, a picture of that. Jen with her the children. Fly, the stars, the stripes. I love it. This and is so fun. And Jen for driving all over the country with six Oh children. my goodness gracious, yes. <laughs> Two about did me in. Yeah. All right, quilters. The first winner of a Timeless Treasures Patriotic Fabric Bundle is, drum roll please. Cheryl A. from Buena Park, California. Congratulations. Yes. And the second winner of a selection of fabric is, drum roll please. Tony M. from Hanson, Idaho. Congratulations. Congratulations. These are great bundles. Huge thank you to Timeless Treasures Fabrics for sponsoring today's patriotic show. We know all our quilters are gonna love using this fabric to make their own patriotic projects. I think it's gonna be great. All right, quilters, at the start of the year, we introduced our, pay, we introduced our Paying It Forward campaign called Covering the World, One Quilt at a Time. This campaign is a collaboration between AccuQuilt and Moda Fabrics with Baby Lock as our sponsor. Together, one person from our teams is donating a quilt each week of 2022 to a charity of their own choice. And be sure to visit our website for details on how you, our viewers, can participate in covering the world one quilt at a time by going to learn.accuquilt.com slash quilt the world 2022. You can also follow hashtag quilt the world 2022 on social media. That way you'll see your fellow quilters donations all throughout the year. Now quilters, this is super important. Yes. You have until the end of the month, which is Thursday, Thursday. to make and donate a quilt to be eligible for the six month prize giveaway. That's right. The prize is worth $500 with $250 in Moda fabrics. So and big, listen, she couldn't lift Lisa it. could not lift the yeah, whole thing. Right. It was so big. And $250 in AccuQuilt reward points. Now be sure to make a public post with your quilt and where you donated it and use the hashtag. Again, it's hashtag quilt the world 2022. We'll announce the winner during the July 5th show. Good luck. I'm excited. That's right. All right. Quilters in the spirit of our patriotic event today, I think it's time to have a USA themed turkey. 
show. Excuse me. All right. And we are going to start with this one, which is so fun. This is a new pattern. This is Go Stripes Around the Stars Throw Quilt. It's by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. And these look like stripes, but you know what they are? Yeah. They're half square triangles. They're not strips at all. They could be, but they're not. But and they're she not. Used her tiny little cube to make those. There you go. Center little block. I just love this basic this quilting. It really mm -hmm. emphasizes the design. You can see she did stitch in the ditch here and did some random wavy Waves. lines. I love this one. Good job, Mary Ann. To go along with that, she made the Ghost Stripes and Stars tote bag that Miss Pam is modeling now. That matches her shirt like perfectly, by the way. It does. Heavens. And I feel like the fabric would fit in here. Yeah, I think so too. This again is by uh, Mary Ann Fontana. Fontana. And I feel like maybe she took some um, extra mm -hmm. blocks and just made a tote with yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just thinking that a little grunge, I, if, if this one's disappearing, I'm telling you, if it's disappeared, we know where it is. Yeah, it has grunge on my name. Okay, now the next one is hanging behind me. It's the Go Brave Pennant Banner by Kelly Marshall of Simply Macbeth Designs. Look at how fun this is. So here's our big dot star in grunge. Right. And she uses striped bunnies so it can live at my house but all the three different sizes from the pennant die, which is probably part of that Save 25 sale. And those letters are from our classic two inch alphabet. Look at how fun that is. That was the trivia answer today, was brave. Was brave, Okay. as in the movie. Yes. We do movie trivia on Tuesdays, by Tuesday the way. Tuesday trivia. Okay, so this is the Go Freedom Table Runner by Kelly Marshall of Simply Macbeth Designs. And it's made with the Hunter Star die. And I have to tell you, Hunter Star is one of my favorites yeah. for making table runners. And I, I'm sure it's part of that Save 25, but I think it's so great that the center is like that white and that light blue or yes. gray. Yes, it really pulls it, it, it together. It mm -hmm. And it has uh, sashing and cornerstones, which you learned how to make today, and straight binding. It there you go. Simple quilting, you could get this done very quickly, quilters. Like today. That's right. All right. Next, we've got the Go uh, Antique Americana Throw Quilt. This one's got Timeless Treasures fabric, and it's made with one of my favorite bobs, Hattie's Choice. Hattie's Choice, it's beautiful. This is a really fun one. It gives you, with your color, how you position your colors, you get some really great secondary designs. I was gonna say the negative space has that mm -hmm. in there. And then look, so that we have so many curves and stuff, I thought the quilting was I great. do like the quilting, yeah. yeah this is fun. All right, okay. the next one's behind oh, us. Here, We're come. finally going to tell you about this gorgeous quilt that's been hanging behind us. This is the Go From Sea to Shining Sea Throw Quilt. This is a showstopper if there ever was one. It's made all with the storm at sea die. It does, and it has the double sashing blocks in it, and then this. I think the most brilliant thing about this quilt is that the stripes are made still with that storm at sea die. I just it think it's great. It's fabulous. Yep. So download this. It is a free pattern. Get this one downloaded and order the die now. Um, mine is done. It just needs to be quilted. And, um, but I'm hanging it out for the 4th of July. <laughs> well, good for you. Yeah, I just think it's fabulous. Good for you. All right, the next one we've got is our Go Patriotic Snails Throw Quilt. This is by Bea Lee of Bea Quilter. And this is so clever. So we've got our Go Snails Trail. Okay, so we have two sizes of snails trail. Yes, and this is the smaller one. It fits through the go, it makes an eight inch finish block. But what she's done to accent it are these star blocks. And these are made with the half rectangle triangles yes. from Companion Angles. So clever. I think it's darling. Look at how fun I that love is. it. And the backing is great. I'm going to count, by the way, the border or the binding is striped. Absolutely. It has, it has, it has flag stripes Look on at it. Look how fun that is. Really fun. Okay. Now this is the Go Chimney Sweep Throw Quilt. Oh, yes. This one's got Hoffman fabrics. And this is another, this is a great bob. It doesn't get, I mean, we don't use it as much, but it really is one of my favorites. It kind of has that granny square feel to it. Um, Fun fact, we're making it tomorrow, this project. Well, gosh, I wonder why. It finishes to a 10 inch block and we're also gonna okay, use our 10 inch cube. Me. I know, thank you. 10 inch cube to make those X's. 
Here we go. Yeah, this is such a great, easy project. And we were looking at it today how fast and easy you could make projects. Oh, absolutely. Like Bob, and then here's the back. I love the quilting. Oh, and thank you for putting this, the, the sleeve on it. Oh yeah, Brock thanks you. Yes. Okay. All right, we got one last oh, one. I Speaking of appliques earlier, this is the Go Starry Stars go to go quilt pattern. And it's got the small, and the medium little stars, and they're accented with the buttons. I think the buttons make it. I think the little that little bit of embellishment is just so sweet. And you would use your cube to make that square and square mm -hmm. and square and point. I think it's darling. Mm -hmm. All right. Just adorable. All these patterns are available as free downloads on AccuQuilt's website. So be sure to get your patterns downloaded before your die even arrives. That way you'll be ready to go. Ah, there we go. All right, quilters with the 4th of July approaching, you can easily envision red, white, and blue colorways to make your USA projects with our free Go Quilt tool. You can upload pictures of your fabric to see what your project will look like before you make your first cut. Numerous fabric collections from our sponsors as well as solid colors are available on Go Quilt. Plus, we have thousands of quilt patterns for you to envision your next project. Here's a deeper look to help you get started. It's just that easy. And it has a free tutorial to help you get started. So yep, super easy, super fun. Quilters, early in the show we ask you, have you made a patriotic quilt before? And if you did have, what AccuQuilt dye did you use? There's no voting poll today, nope. so we just had you let us know in the comment section wherever you stream our show. So we pulled a couple of answers. Well, we didn't, Madison did. Madison did, and, Madison. And we have answers to look at, so let's see what you said. We've got Jackie V who says, I use lots of strip dyes to make kits for our guild and to make quilts of valor. Oh, that's good on great. you, Jackie. That's a great idea. Yeah. That's a great idea. Amy W says Ohio Star, which yep. is huge. Like Andrew and, said. Yep, two and a half inch strip. Absolutely. The border. I love it. Now, Karen T, bravo, because she likes using the glorified nine patch. Which Erica loves. Which I love. And, and she, she makes did quilts of valor. For right? quilts of valor, exactly. Yep. And then Mary Elle said she made a flag out of the tumbler die. We have three sizes of tumblers, and the medium one is the four inch tumbler. And this is a project that I made years and years ago here for AccuQuilt. And it, notice it has bias binding on it. Mm -hmm. Guess what, Erica? There's a die for that. There is any strip die, actually. Yep. We'll cut yep. bias. And we have lots of videos on how to make bias binding. That's so right. That was fun. All right, quilters, if you're like us and always looking for more inspiration, be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 <laughs> noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. Tomorrow, we're making the chimney sweep die pattern. It's yes. so fun. Be sure to register for the show on our events page to be entered to win an exciting door prize. We have tons of fun. Hope to see you there. Is it patriotic? It is. We're making that chimney sweep one. I love it. I love It'll it. Wait till you see the fabric. Oh, so cute. All right, I'll be watching. Quilters, it's time to give away our final prize of the day. We're going to say thank you to our quilters one more time for registering and watching our show. Uh, quilters, you're all so wonderful. All right, the second lucky winner of a ghost star die is drumroll, please. Ooh. Virgia Lee W. of Colorado Springs, Colorado. If I said your name wrong, I'm sorry. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're going to love this. That's a today. great basic. Everybody should have that star die. Great for projects. Okay, quilters, we have a little surprise for you. Be we sure do. to join us again this 
Thursday, June mm -hmm. 30th at 12 noon Central Time for a special event called the Bob Bonanza. We're going to share all the tips and tricks from some of our most loved and popular block on board dies. That's not yeah. all. Yeah. We are going to be giving a sneak peek of July's die to try. Wait till you see Wait it. Wait you see it. You don't want to miss out on all the fun that we're going to have. Quilters, we have special offers for you ahead of our July 1st price increase. Now, with our company facing increases in fuel costs and raw material sourcing for our products, the price increase starts at the end uh, or the beginning, uh, starting next month, which is Friday, right. will allow us to continue offering you, our customers, the best quality of products. So be sure to take advantage of our promotions uh, today, tomorrow, Thursday, before that price increase on Friday. Right. To get your order in right now, open a new tab, type in AccuQuilt.com slash party to go to the site and place your order. Take 25% off cutters, dies, cubes, and bundles with that promo code SAVE25. Now's the perfect time to stock up on the items you've been waiting for or to upgrade your cutter and get to go big. Some exclusions apply, uh, such as our new products for this offer, so check the website for details. Don't forget, you're going to get free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. when your order reaches $100 or more. No code needed to redeem that at checkout. And you can also find many of our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find the closest retailer, go to the top of our page on our website and look at the store locator. That's right. And remember, you can quilt now and pay later. Get financing today at AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, before we leave to get ready for Thursday show, yes. we have a couple of birthday shout outs. We do. Uh, so first of all, happy 10th birthday to Aubrey. Yes. Um, she is um, Jill's daughter and we are so glad that it is her birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. I bet there's and cake. I bet there is. And um, Taylor's birthday is, happy yes. birthday is today. So yes. happy birthday to Taylor. And happy early birthday to Pam. But we'll say that again on so Thursday. So many times. Tomorrow, Thursday, yep, it'll happen. Yep. She's a big celebrator it this is. one. All right, Eric and I, we're going to go get ready for Thursday's show. We hope you've enjoyed today's Patriotic Trunk Show and feel inspired ahead of the 4th of July. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, if you've been waiting for the show to end before you buy, now is that time, and here is the link. Get everything you need while it's in stock, available, and before those price increases. And remember, at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. Goodbye. See you Thursday.